good day. Welcome back to another video. So, you guys know that feeling of a rough week where you're just it's just a tough week. You know, you don't even know how to describe it. It's just a tough week. Or that feeling of anxiety, you know? We all know what that feels like. I'm gonna show you like one scan of my garage and it'll just give you the definition of it all. actually don't even know where to start why don't we start here uh snowmobiles okay got two sleds was all excited for the season we obviously don't have any snow or very little snow we were able to get out a couple of times uh twice we were ditch banging and once was a derby which was as good as ditch banging and good thing we had the all terrains on because uh uh yeah there was some mud <laughs> So that was fun. Um, and the end result of that derby, the ZL500, AKA Angus, uh, died. I had to tow it back with the F7. Um, the stator went out on the ZL here. And then, as I get back to the trailer, towing this one, the F7 dies. And I can't get it started again. So, doing a little investigation on that, and uh, one of the things I'm finding is the reeds are not very good. I'll, I'll insert a little little picture there for you, or a little video clip maybe. But yeah, the reeds are not looking too great. The fuel and oil mixture was kind of coming back in the bellow. Um, there was quite a bit actually on that side. And I also tested the stator on this guy and it's also a little bit on the weaker side. So, I mean, I don't know how a guy can blow out two stators in the same trip, but I guess if there's a there's a will there's a way as my dad always said so so there's that so these guys are both sitting I want to get them out of the garage but I actually cannot physically get them started to get them in the backyard so now they're just tying up all the space um, next I got a six liter from like a 2002 2003 with a 4L80 combo so I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet but I have it and obviously I have all the space in the world, so I decided that was a great idea. And my wife agrees, obviously. Um, I got, got the LS for Braden, the turbo build. I got the 363 cubic inch small block forward build that I'm gonna start working on some more today as I got some more parts in. And I got a, another 5.3 here that I was supposed to do a rebuild on, um, which I got parts scattered everywhere for this guy. And that's not going to turn out. Um, it needs too much work for the buyer. He doesn't want to spend that much money on it. So he ended up finding a different engine uh, to put in his truck. So now I have accumulated this one in trade for my labor in going through it. So now I just got to figure out what to do with it. So there's that as well. So I got, what, three LSs on the stands while one's on the ground. And then I got a small block forward on the stand. And I know that my buddy Dwayne, like him in Fabworks, we're gonna possibly be getting that olds out of his race car into the garage here as well. So I need to get my hiney into gear to stop herkle dirkling <laughs> and get some stuff done. Um, I got some parts in for that small luck board. I'm gonna go through all the parts here, but I got uh, rocker arms, I got uh, valve springs, retainers, keepers, uh, upgraded studs for the heads. We went with a 716 stud, uh, gasket, uh, flex plate. So, yeah, I gotta do some good work there. Spend some time cleaning that up. Uh, the cylinder heads, I have to completely clean. I'm gonna tear them down, obviously. Clean them up, and something to help me with my cleaning around the garage. You know, cleaning is the worst part about building an engine. We all know that. 
so I needed some assistance. I borrowed a ultrasonic cleaner, just a, wow, that was loud, that was bad. Um, just a small six liter here from my buddy Clint. And it worked awesome. I cleaned a full set of pistons with them. Not all at the same time, obviously. Um, so I ended up ordering myself a larger one. So right here, it's a Cree Works. It's a 30 liter. I got it heating right now. Got some water in there. And what I'm gonna do is just uh, use Cascade pods or whatever. I keep calling them Tide Pods, but my wife tells me they're not Tide Pods because that's a name brand or something. Whatever, it's a Tide Pod. <laughs> but, uh, so I actually used those pods, those Cascade Pods or whatever for the dishwasher in the six liter and it worked awesome. Just that and water, done. And it's like, what? Not even two bucks for one of those pods? Plus water is free, oh, almost free. Get from the tap, right? So that ends up saving a pile of money on detergents and chemicals and cleaners. Um, these are the pistons that I cleaned with it. Like these things looked horrible. And this is just water and dishwasher pods. So I got a whole basket there, or a whole tub of these things, 110 of them to be exact, for like 28 bucks, and then water. So that's going to be way cheaper to refill this thing and clean it out and, you know, go through the whole shebang over and over because it's going to get dirty pretty quick and it's, a, it's just way cheaper that way. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. I wanted to get one that was big enough to handle cylinder heads that I could slip in, you know, a small block cylinder head, for example, like a small block forward or an LS head. Um, unfortunately, it's just to get the next step up from a 30 liter, it just costs so much more money. Um, so I ended up with a 30 liter and I'm gonna attempt to clean some cylinder heads with it. I'm thinking it'll have to be like angled. I don't know which way and then this way. I'll have to do it a few times and hit it from different angles, I guess. We'll see how it works out, but really hoping that works. Um, but aside from the cylinder heads, uh, it'll work great for everything else, right? Like uh, pistons, uh, connected rods, bolts, whatever, you name it, timing covers, yeah. So really looking forward to having that take a load off of me on the cleaning side. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get to building. I'm gonna keep on going here. I might just leave this as an update video for you guys. So thanks for checking in. Sorry it wasn't very exciting. And uh, we'll get a build video coming.